WDEF News 12 Sports Desk, brought to you by Xfinity. You're watching Touchdown Friday Night, sponsored in part by your Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union and Saxons. Welcome back to Touchdown Friday Night. Bradley Central and Saudi Daisy entered their annual showdown tonight, fighting for their playoff lives. Both teams needed to win their final two games to earn a postseason bid. Saudi getting the passing game going early. The Trojans, Hunter Maynard finds Levi Thornton slanting over the middle to get the first down. And then it's Maynard again. He throws a bullet to Blake Smith for the first down, but the Trojans end up missing a field goal to end the drive. Trojans get the ball back, but nowhere to go. Maynard sacked by a host of Bears, but eventually Saudi would find the end zone. Maynard is going to air it out to Blake Smith. Dwight Clark style catch there for the touchdown, seven to nothing, Saudi. But on the ensuing kickoff, here we go. well, you know, we'll see what happens here. The Trojans kick it away, and Daniel Clark, he's going to take it. He's going to rip off a nice return. Watch him weave through the Saudi special teams, but pays the price at the end of this one. And guess what happens after I left, Rick? What? 7 0. Two, two teams combined for 63 points. <laughs> Bradley comes back to win it 42 to 28. The luck of the Webster. Right. Sequatchie County at Boyd. Early third. Boyd is up 17 14. They give it to Austin Jackson. He goes in from 10 yards out. That made it 24 14 bucks. Caleb Lofty delivers a huge 30 yard kickoff return. Well, I've already given away how many yards he's going to run before he catches it, but you get the idea. A nice return for the Indians. He is down near midfield. After a missed field goal, though, Sequachi back with the football, and Colby Reed almost goes all the way with the keeper down the sideline, but he's stopped, and the Indians are stopped on fourth and goal, so we're changing ends of the field again. Austin Jackson for the Bucks takes a handoff, snakes and spins and powers his way for another 20-yard run. But a few plays later on fourth and long, Cooper Hodge hits Demarius Macon, but his toe goes just out of bounds. No more points in this one, so Boyd holds on to win it 24-14. to Back to the touchdown Friday night scoreboard. Grundy County over Cumberland County, 44 to 36. Webb, you left that game right after kickoff, right? I did. <laughs> Jackson County over Grace, 67 to 21. Meigs County and Harriman, 45 to 19. Meigs a winner. And Bledsoe County over Silverdale, 33 to 7. Two of the top teams in Class 4A battle tonight at Signal Mountain. The seventh-ranked Eagles played host to the fourth-ranked Green Devils of Greenville. The Eagles and Greenville are both tough physical teams. No score first quarter. Jack Teeter back to pass. He hits Chris Moore, a first down completion for the Eagles. But they have to settle for a field goal on this drive. Ben Brown comes in and boots it through. 3-0 Signal Mountain. Second quarter, Green Devils at the five. Quarterback Quan Harrison goes in for the touchdown, but there was a flag on the play holding. Eagles defense stiffens from there. They tackle Quan Harrison for a loss. Green Devils had to settle for a field goal to tie the game at three. Next, signal possession. Jack Teeter over the middle for Corey DeHart. That's a first down for Signal Mountain. Then Teeter rolls out from the nine and hits Tadarius Hodge for a touchdown. That made it 10-3 Eagles. And look who's excited after this score. Oh, Bill Price. Look at him go. There you go. All right. Hey, the Eagles defense was just as fired up as their head coach. Cole Johnson tackles Quan Harrison for a loss. We left at halftime with signal up 10-3. Guess what, Webb? Oh, what happened now? The uh, Greenville team scored four touchdowns in the Ouch. second half to win it 31-10. Georgia Gridiron, Cahulla Creek at Ringgold, and we actually got a few scores in this one. Here we All go. Tigers in this one tonight. Devin Lancaster, the throw to the back of the end zone. Mac Brower makes a great catch, but was he in? Well, the officials they're going to call New York and they're going <laughs> to replay. Yeah, it's good. All right, seven nothing Tigers. Then it's Ringgold on the reverse, back the other way. And very quickly, it's thirteen nothing Tigers on top. More offense for the Ringgold Tigers. Lancaster is going to find Kyle Scholl, and Scholl's going to weave his way through the defense for a long run all the way to the house. Ringgold rolls by a final of 48 to nothing. 
Taking a look at the scoreboard, it was South Pittsburgh over Polk County 21 to 13. McMinn County over Walker Valley 28 to 24. Into Georgia we go, it was Gilmer County all over Lafayette 62 to 27. And Cartersville blanks Southeast Whitfield by a final of 48 to nothing. Still ahead on Touchdown Friday night, Ridgeland hosts Northwest Whitfield.